Hey, welcome to another review here. My last review for tonight, I guess. Um, I just found this program while I was doing the other reviews. It's called Private Firewall by... Um, I'm trying to remember. Hold on. By Privacyware. And um, supposedly it also has like a behavior blocker in it from what I read and it's supposed to work on zero-day malware, anti-spyware, you know, viruses, anything like that. And it's a free program. So I definitely like free, and I definitely like testing stuff that's free. So I'm going to install it right here. I'm going to try to stick to one uh, video on this review. So uh, let's just go. It's a version 6.1. We'll accept the agreement. And we'll install it here. While this is installing, I want to take a look at this uh, installer here. It's only 3.25 megabytes, so very small. And we will turn on the network. And it's going to ask me to restart. So I'm going to restart and I'll be right back. So Windows is starting back up here again and I got that little uh, pop-up and I'm sure it's going to want me to answer some questions here. So uh, we'll close the tips here and uh, internet security is set to high from the factory. I didn't miss anything. Um, network security is set to low. You have process monitor, applications, all that stuff. Uh, firewall log, port tracking. I'm not going to mess with anything here. Let's see what else we got. That doesn't do anything. Well, I might do something once it does, finishes loading here. Seems to be taking a while to finish loading. There we go. You can go to settings here. It does the standard control. Uh, let's see. We're not going to enable training mode. Enable process detection. So we're just going to leave everything the way it is. And let's get started on testing some of these malware links. Okay, so we got a uh, a uh, process here, a signature process that says this process was not recorded during the training period and may be related to malicious activity. To block this process, hit block to or ignore this. Or if you are certain this process is related to trusted activity, allow otherwise disallow this process. So this is basically a new process, so we'll block it. I have a feeling it's going to work just like a hips here. Every time something new starts, it's going to ask me if I want to allow it or block it. Let's go to details here. It says what it is, additional information. It's even got a little web search. So if you hit on web search, okay, it, it searches in Google. Well, that's not very helpful though, that searching for that. We're going to block it. I have a feeling it's basically going to block any EXE. Don't see anything from the exploit there. We know that one's dead. And there you go. That's. Uh, we're going to block everything, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to allow one to see what happens, see if I get any more alerts. That one's dead. Just to see if it's just for the EXE or if it has anything else. That one's slow. always asking if a new process um, if it can run as you can see if I block everything nothing should ever get by
that one might be dead. And there you go. Last one. As you can see, it blocks that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this coop face that I know is a coop face from the other two reviews that I did. And I'm going to run it here. And I'm going to click allow for now. And I want to see if I get any other pop-ups. It's actually got, it's actually signed here, Avonquest Publishing USA, which is weird. It's got some kind of signature on it, but let's allow it and see what happens. See if we get any more alerts from it. Okay, another new process is trying to start. So I'm gonna see here. Let's see what happens when you go to web search. There you go. It uh, if you search for that, you can actually look at virus total, and you can actually get a idea It'll pop up with the name, and you can see what it is here. This is a different, it's trying to uh, undo UI, that's something different, but we'll allow this one just for now to see if we get any more pop-ups. This program to me is mostly like a, um, like a hips, you know, it just asks you, what about this, what about that, what about this? Uh, it's got no signatures or anything that I can see. You can set the process monitor however way you want it. Firewall log, port tracking, all that fun stuff. So as you can see, if you allow something, you won't get another um, pop-up. So you get one chance to fix it. And I don't think I can drop malware bytes in here for some odd reason. So I'm just going to go download it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go download malware, malware bytes. I typed it in wrong. And uh, I'm going to install it. And I'm just going to do a scan. And I know there's going to be some stuff on there because I allowed two of them to squeak through. You can probably find them in the processes. There, there's one. Yeah, I don't know where the other one is. Or maybe, no, that's actually a personal firewall. Sorry. Oh, those might already be gone. They might have already done damage and they've turned themselves off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video after I, uh, I'm going to download malware bytes here, install it, update it, do a scan, and I'm going to pause it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, the scan just finished here, and as we know, of course, we got some stuff. So uh, as you can see, we got uh, some stuff sticking in temporary internet files, and we have that goop face. So as long as you um, basically know what you're doing here with private firewall and you know what to allow and um, not allow it will work pretty good for you not bad for a free little program let's see what it does on uh, memory usage here okay so it uses like 23 megs and four so like 28 totals close to 28 so uh, there you go and I'm gonna pop this review on YouTube with the other two that I did tonight and I'll see you guys later.